Hello everybody, this is me Saber and you're watching Korean Master YouTube channel. Today in this video I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful text effect in CorelDRAW. So let's start. First step, of course, we need text. If you have full text like this, select the text and hold Ctrl and key. And you will have every single letter. Now we need to use uh, the extrude for this letter. Let's choose color and outline. That's cool. And now we need to copy this effect from this one to this one. How we can do that? Select the letter and use the tool like this and you will find this one now you can copy this effect from here to here like this sorry I have to do it again copy This is the first step. Let's go to the next step. Next, we have to select everything and use break apart. We have to use a color for this one. And now, select the first letter and we have to use the contour too. Now we can use the same what we did last time with extrude tool. We can do it with the contour tool. Select the letter and copy from this one. Letter and copy from this one. Copy from this one. Sorry. This one. Select everything now and use break apart again give them color okay we have to use white color from the outline sorry for this one okay Now we need to create another outline for this outline, but we have to do it with thicker outline. How we can do that? Select this one and use a thicker outline, maybe 10. That's okay. And now convert outline to object. Now we have this outline and with an object and without outline. So we need to create another outline for this one. Maybe 10. Okay. And convert outline to object like this. And now we can use back minus from like this and now we don't need this object but we have this object with white color like this maybe 8 it's good that's good 
Now we have to do the same with the other letter and see you next step. Next we need to create another copy behind this one like this. Sorry, like this. With dark color and send it back. Like this. And we have to do with the other letter, or we can do it like this select everything and group them and use this copy select this one send it to the front like this and now we need to use another copy from this one copy and make two copy from this and back minus front because we need to use darker color from this one like this That's cool. So let's go to the next step. The final step is to make a shadow for this 3D effect. How we can do that? We can drop shadow directly but it's not good. We need to do something else. Select this object and ungroup them. You know when we do uh, when we play sometimes with uh, the outline and convert them to object sometimes it happen like this you will find this lines how we can prevent that we can use the smart fill like this and we have new object and select the other one like this and now we have clean object use the extrude yes for this one Use color to see what's going like this. That's that's good. And now we need to use brick apart. Select everything like this. Sorry. Without outline and ungroup everything and use melt like this. And we have another object now. Use uh, the same trick when, if you remember when we play with the outline here, we can do it here too. Or you can just move this object like this. But I prefer to do that trick much better. We can do it like this. Then convert to curve. Sorry, to object. And cut it like this. Now we have this in black color. And we have to use black color for this one too. But we can use 
the transparency like this and you have to do it with the other object and see you after that and here the final step just make another background and you will see the result so this is our tutorial and this video hope you like it don't forget to share this video with your friend or make like for this video or subscribe to my channel for more videos about CorelDRAW. See you next time. Bye bye.